This is a very small uh, pump, air pump, for nano tanks such as, I don't know, a 57 litre flex or something smaller than that. Um, it's tiny, very low wattage, um, comes with everything you need really. Everything you see on that box there, it comes with. Now, I'm going to see how quiet this is because it says there, ultra silent. So let's just see. Okay, so in the box we get the unit itself, which is absolutely tiny. I mean, it's, well, let me get my phone. There's my phone, yeah. It is tiny, it's piezoelectric, so I don't expect much. But you do get everything you need. You get a little bit of tubing. The bracket which goes on the side of the tank, so I'm assuming this is going to be best for an open top tank. Okay, that's obviously going to stick that on there, like so, okay. But there's a bracket as well, and you get an air stone. Now this was 15 quid. Um, the manual was not too bad. You do get white and black, I've got the black one here, I think that's more aesthetically pleasing. Um, there's not a lot of spec on this, so I'm going to have a quick look read through and then see what I can find. Okay, so it's a 1.5 watt. Um, the power cable's <laughs> supposedly four foot long, it's not. Um, but you do get nearly four foot of airline tubing. Um, you can go down to 18, it looks like 18 inch there, so we're going to check that as well. But that's the spec of it. Now, I don't expect uh, 12 kPa. It's just under 2 psi. It says 33 decibels, so that's, you know, it's going to be pretty good for someone who's got a small little tank, maybe um, a child or an adult in a flat that's next to the, the, the bed, maybe. So we're going to try this out and see what we come up with. Okay, so one thing I have noticed in the kit, you do not get a non-return valve or a back check valve, which means you must have the pump above the bottom of the water level. Um, I will show you that just to make sure that we, uh, we're on the same page. You know, for 15 quid, you know, I've been told that this company, I believe that's Heiger or Heigerger or Heiger or whatever you want to call it. Maybe you can put that in the comments. Um, I'm an up and coming aquarium um, company, so I'm kind of, I, I want to make sure this actually works properly. I'm not a fan of piezoelectric, um, to be honest. I do like pistons, but piezoelectric is a lot quieter. So let's see what we get in the e tank. Mm. Well, that's the amount of air you're going to get out of it. It's most certainly not ultra silent or anything by that i mean you could only use this as a bubbler you know you couldn't use this to run a sponge filter or anything else so you know and obviously you know the bigger the pump the, the more noise you're going to get um it does move around the surface i'll give them that it does work that out now what I'm saying about the loop, if you have this down here, the water can run down into the plug, okay? So you must keep a loop in the cable, okay? If you keep a loop in the cable, the lowest point, that's where it will drip. But I personally would have a back check valve. I'm not sure it's going to work in this situation because this really... Hmm. I'm not sure about that. I would personally probably have it like that. That way any water that's coming is going to go back in your tank. You know, it's a bubbler. You know, I'm not a fan of bubblers unless they're doing something. In my case, I have sponge filters I'll show you in the other tank. Especially in the turtle tank here. But, it does make a noise, you know. In this case, I've also got one running in there, which is off the whisper. Now, I'm going to turn this off 
that's the noise you're getting from that and that is the whisper the tetra whisper you know I would go with the tetra whisper every day so far more noise from the actual bubbles <laughs> 